Well, good morning, guys. Bright and early. We have not been up this early to fish for a while, but we need to get in the tournament shape, so that's what we're doing. We're getting up early. And we're seeing what's going on. We got a couple guide trips coming up, we're prepping for that. That is the goal here at Three Pound Fishing is to be ready for those guide trips. So, if you have an interest in booking a guide trip, three pound fishing at gmail.com. Check it out. There's our first customer on three pound fishing this beautiful morning. Nice little eater. Catching it on the carrot. Uh, this is that single hair jig, man. I, you can buy these one at a time. They come in a little plastic bag, freaking perfect. Uh, this is a 132nd ounce. You guys can check it out, three pound fishing. Uh, these hair jigs, inexpensive way. There's a combo pack that gives you one of each. I think that's the best deal in the world. That's like eight bucks. You're not gonna find a uh, low cost option for hair jigs better than that. Small fish. Boy, it looks so much better on the screen. That is a small fish. So we're gonna go. I'm working right now with a Hair jig, 132nd ounce carrot with no weight on it. So in other words, these guys want it slow. And they don't, I mean, they just don't, they don't want it fast. So you have to take off your split shot from time to time. Especially in uh, months like this where the fishing is just, it's, it gets slower and slower. And so it makes it a lot harder to set the hook. Let me just tell you, because you're kind of guessing when they have it in their mouth, you will not feel anything. bite and that's the majority of the piles right now where it's just super light look at all those fish right there that's just a ton of fish to catch but they are finicky right now finicky finicky so we gotta go find some active fish and that's what we're gonna do A little bit better size. Definitely the most active spot. There's a ton of fish here though. So I don't know what that, that's just a time thing. If you notice it's 747 right now. Um, plus you're still having to play them quite a bit. So I always take that into consideration for a guide trip because you know, it takes some time to learn it. They're not super active. Oh, that whole thing happened. That's good fish. Nice solid eater. Whew. Let them go though. So this is totally the uh, the warmest the water's been, 86 degrees, without a doubt. And the fish, without a doubt, get lethargic, slow, and all that stuff. And so definitely having to play them is a major factor. Now I've been 
out here in the evening. I have been out here now bright early in the morning and the bite is identical. There is no difference. Um, I think the key is really just to find places that you have the most active fish. But outside of that, uh, you're still gonna have to play them. So that's the, the, the day jumps of the, of the summer. It's the hottest days. The water gets the hottest. This whole week, we're gonna have 100 degree temperatures. So this water is gonna, is, is gonna even get hotter and these fish are gonna even get slower. So presentation is everything and slowing it down is the biggest factor, I feel. We're gonna see what this guy is. It was big on the screen. Yeah, big old catfish. about a three pounder close to it I'm gonna show you guys the loop knot here through the eyelet twirl it around and right back through with the plastics it's kind of hard but there's the gob of stuff right there Perfect loop knot right there. That is a perfect loop knot. And then we like to put the split shot. So it hangs like this, right there. We're gonna go with that green meanie head. All right, guys, well, that's gonna end it. Great morning. We didn't find really any massive fish, big fish. Uh, so what I do, tomorrow I'll go out and do the same, exact same thing in the morning, just to kind of learn more and more and more of the technique needed, the places needed to uh, find the bigger fish. Now, I did catch 20 fish. So I'll, I know we're gonna catch a, a ton of fish. Uh, the question is trying to find out exactly where those bigger fish are. Techniques have to change, colors have to change, especially when you're dealing with this uh, type of heat. Uh, the water temperature is extremely high, so. That's guiding, you just gotta figure it out before your guide trips start, so. Check it out, three pound fishing guide service, Southern Illinois. Take it easy, guys.